Good evening everybody. This is Ken from Ken's Garage. Today I wanted to uh, make a video about like our response to uh, another video I made like almost two years ago regarding my 2018 Hyundai Sonata that I had. I made a video regarding the starter issue I was having with, with the car. Uh, if you go back and check out that video, you'll notice that the push button well, did not work at all sometimes when it got really cold and sometimes it took me so long to get the car started and in that video I've received a whole lot of comments and questions asking me if I got that issue resolved because apparently there's many of you guys out there that are still having problems with your uh, your car not starting when it gets cold so apparently this is a Hyundai issue throughout the board around the, those years, 2018, 17, 19, and all that. But from what I, what I understand, uh, from what I've talked to on people on the internet, uh, also at my dealer, they seem to think it's the starter is the problem. Now obviously, uh, I traded that car in in the summer of 2021. I got my current Hyundai Santa Fe, and I actually got the keyed version. I got a, I didn't get a uh, a higher model, or a, I got the lowest model there was, or the the most basic model there was. It's key start. It doesn't have the remote start or anything. And I haven't had I haven't had one issue with that with this SUV since. But I just wanted to address like a lot some of the questions uh, re regarding that video I created. A lot of questions revolved around if I got ended up getting the car fixed. You know, again, like I said, no, I did not. I just dealt with it until uh, the weather started turning warm in the spring, and then I decided to trade the car in because I didn't want to. I wanted to get the maximum amount of value uh, for the vehicle. I ended up trading in for like eighteen thousand dollars, and I got, and I got my. Santa Fe. I traded in for my Santa Fe. Uh, like, from what I understand, uh, from other people that I have talked to, it's basically a starter issue. Um, I guess there's certain uh, nuts or bolts on the starter that weren't torqued properly, and it's not getting a proper connection. Or then I've had somebody say it could be the solenoid on the starter is not starting the vehicle. It's not getting enough power or something. So basically it's just a starter from what I understand. So what I've been telling people to do is try to uh, get the starter replaced since cars should be, should be, uh, should be covered under warranty. And I have, I've been telling people just to get, just to get a new starter and also other people out there that have been dealing with the same problem uh, say that they had the starter replaced and they haven't had any issues since then. So I do believe it's just the starter itself. And I just wanted to get back with you guys just to let you guys know that's basically what the issue is, it's just a starter. So if you're out there, uh, if you come across this video or my previous video, uh, wondering what to do it's most likely you have to just take the car in to get the starter replaced i know it's kind of a pain in the butt to do uh which is why i wanted wanted to trade the car in because i drive 80 miles a day to work and back and that's the last thing i need to do is or have is my car not be able to start for me so when i get to work so i hope that clarifies uh any questions that people have about that video regarding that car I get so many questions about it and it's like it's just crazy and I just wanted to help you guys out so hope you guys enjoy this video Rate me a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys next time